What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you a quick video on how to change out uh, the start button on your second gen FX, whether it be FX35, 37, or QX70, to one of these GTR uh, start buttons. I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can get it. So you can use one of the uh, plastic trim remover tools I'm always talking about in my videos and uh, kind of pop this out. I don't recommend using a screwdriver. You may mar up part of your dash finish. You don't want to do that. Um, so there we go. It'll pop out. And this is a little bit easier than it is on the G37s. It's the same process as a 370Z. These vehicles have a lot in common with the 370Z from the position of the start button to the steering wheel and a lot of other things. Now you're going to have the little um, push and pull tab and that's going to release your button. So whether or not you want the backlight uh, orange or white, you're still going to have to do this next step and you're gonna to have to remove the chrome bezel off of your OEM start button and put it on the next one. So I'll show you that in the next step. So here we are, you will probably need some screwdrivers for this because uh, you're gonna to need to hold down both of these pins like so and squeeze and then it's gonna push out like so. But uh, I recommend uh, screwdrivers for that just because, um, I don't know, I usually have more of those and they're more a little bit skinnier the right size. So now the button slid out. You can put that on this one. If you don't care about the color, you can just go ahead and swap that over. All right, so you'll see that you have uh, some notches on the, the button itself and then inside the track here, like so. So it's going to slide in actually from the front. And you'll see this lines up with that and push that in until it clicks. And then it's good to go. Now, if you want your start button to light up, I guess, white, then you'll need to swap out the brown for the blue um, button from your, your OEM. You'll need to swap these out. So anyway, now we're just gonna slide it back in. All right, guys, and so with this, you just plug it back in. It's a pretty pretty straightforward, easy mod. Anybody can do this. To it, so. All right, so just to show you the, the color difference I was talking about. So it's all orange because I left the, the brown backing backlight uh, in the GTR button that came with it. If you'd swapped it for the blue one that's in the back of your OEM start button, this part would be white, the start stop. But no matter what, this light up here is going to be orange. And so I had done that with my G37, but when I realized that it doesn't change this light, it didn't really make any sense to me. I mean, they're both, uh, you know, then you have a white up, uh, orange up here and then you have a white button right here I'd rather it just be all the same since it's right there yeah it's not gonna match the white backlighting of the the rest of the interior but that's okay orange is my favorite color and this it's a red start button it already stands out and doesn't match anything else it's just kind of a, a, a eye candy sort of sort of speak to draw attention to um, so I'm fine with it being orange but I did want you to know just in case you decide you want to swap it and you're like hey this is this is still orange it's it's going to be no matter what so whether or not you want to skip that step um, is up to you I chose to skip it this time because after doing it with my G37 I realized it's it's going to be mismatched so uh, anyway hopefully that's helpful to some of you out there to see how easy that is to do I'll put a link in the description where you can buy these and uh, I'll see you guys next time